Now, sun is coming up. It's a beautiful morning. The grasses are heavy with dew. And my favorite moth is making its appearance. Right there. That's a blade of, um, this is uh, Coxfoot, the grass. And they prefer to put their cocoons on this. It might be just because its stem is a lot stronger than a lot of other grasses. But there's the six-spotted burnet. There you go. So that is one of my favorite moths. And so this fella obviously has just come out of his cocoon last night or earlier this morning and is doing his final drying out before he takes off and starts eating, um, sorry, yeah, eating and looking for a mate. So I have photographs I've taken of their cocoons. So this is around the time when they start coming out and flying around and eating their favorite food, which I have in another location. I'll go and do a bit of filming of the other location. But there we go. They're coming out now. It's quite a chilly morning. This bumblebee is working in slow motion. But it's eating from these flowers here. I love these. All these old summer meadow flowers are just so beautiful. That's like, it's like a firework flower. The center and then the outside sprays. So there's Mr. Bumblebee, or Mrs. Bumblebee, or It Bumblebee, working away, feeding. But you see there's more of these over here, loads more of these flowers here. And more pollinators and moths and all kinds of things eating. There's another, a worker red-tailed bumblebee right there. Oop, he's flown away. And there's an Inca. Yeah. Watching the bumblebee. There we go. Oop, Inca wants to pounce on the bumblebee. There's the bumblebee. That's a red-tailed bumblebee. Who's now been knocked over by bear? Here's a different species of bumblebee. Oh, it flew away. I've got too many dogs around me knocking the flowers that the bumblebees are feeding off of. They don't like being knocked off of their breakfast table. Who could blame them? Having dogs knocking them off their breakfast table. Isn't that right, Pepper? And then there's Lady's Bed Straw is coming out. This is another favorite. Lady's Bed Straw because they used to put these in ladies' beds to make them smell good and fresh. But this little bit of meadow is full of insect life at the moment. Because we're all here, the grasshoppers have stopped singing. Isn't that right, Pepper? Here are the scabies. They're starting to come out. This is it in bud. This has gone over. But this one is perfect. So these are the scabies. There's another one there. All in flower or flowering and are what the six-spotted burnet loves.
so that's its favorite food and we have lots of it along here see there's more there and then there's more over here so we have lots of it it's actually I really like it some people call it the pincushion flower because it kind of looks like a pincushion there's another one there's another species called knapweed that they also love and that's gonna start coming out here's here's the knapweed but it's very much in bud and there's a honeybee working on one of the scabias right there so their pollinators are already out working away on the uh, flowers this morning oh look it's moved over to that one oh and speak of the devil there is one of the six spotted let's see if I can get it so that you can see it it's uh, woken up this morning come out of its cocoon and it's come there we go and there it's on its favorite food there's such a beautiful moth they're so glossy and black and you can see distinctly there's six spots why they're called the six spotted burnet well you the, the when the wings come out they you can see them more but there it is on its favorite food which comes out around the same time as it comes out of its cocoon.